Oh my goodness. All the rubbish trucks. All the rubbish trucks for the whole flipping place. That is nuts. <gasps> oh. Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and welcome back to Fix Your City, City Skylines. This is the city of Santa Saluna, down to 3% traffic. This thing is an utter, utter, complete backup of traffic. Look, this one here is heading out halfway out the city. This one here has got right to the edge of the city. Look at that. It is completely nuts. Completely nuts. It's all converging on this point here. So we are going to dive into this one and give it a good fix. I also notice you do have some metro, which you've got running around here, these tunnels. It all winds its way through here. So yeah, lots and lots to fix. So let us get stuck in. I mean, if we just take a minute to look at this junction here, it is so bad. I've never seen a clover leaf so, so bad. Well, we've got lots of things to do. We are going to be using the traffic manager mod to fix a lot of stuff. I'm also going to share some tips which will work in vanilla for you with the way that we set up roads and all that sort of thing. So hopefully it will help you all out on the latest labs version of a traffic manager present edition you can see the version there look it up on the steam workshop if you want to use it we are also using the network extensions 2 mod which gives us access to extra roads down here now something i have noticed uh, this junction here we're going to be switching that one out but when you have junctions like this uh, you're obviously going to build here at some point but at the moment these two could be joined together we're also going to just join this together at the end here there we go so cars can turn around if they wish and we're going to make use of the this piece of road here and the beauty of doing that is you're making full use of all the road connections the people that want to get up here no longer have to go all the way through this one all the way down here they can just cut through which is great uh, i am going to change out this junction in here i notice you have been doing your lane mathematics uh, and you've done it on all of your junctions which is good um, you've got three lanes, one goes off, it goes down to two lanes, a lane comes back on, it goes back to three lanes, you get the idea. But a junction like this, smack bang in the middle of all of these sections, this needs to be something a bit better. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to replace it with... We are going to use Timbo's Turbine Interchange. Um, it's a similar size, so that should be okay. And I think that is definitely going to help. There we go. And we'll let the cars all work out where they want to go. Now, there is a little bit of additional lane mathematics you can do on here. So it depends how you want to do it, really. We can count. We've got three lanes coming down here. We could count that as one lane going off. And then even though it splits into two... We could leave that as it is and we could downgrade this section here like that. So then you get a dedicated turning lane and it goes down to two lanes. Uh, in this case, as there is so much traffic coming through here, I'm going to do it slightly differently. So doing reverse lane mathematics, we've got one lane here, one lane here. So that needs to be two lanes. So we get a dedicated lane for that one, dedicated lane for that one. And then we've got two lanes plus three lanes. So that's five lanes. We could do with five lanes here. So we're going to make that one five lane. We're then going to make the one before four lane. And then the one before is three lane. So you've got just sort of spreads out. And you get two dedicated turning lanes for there. And then two dedicated turning lanes for there. I'm going to do that on all the junctions coming in. There we go. So all four lanes that are coming into this intersection now have that set up. That's going to work really well. And then where the road comes out again and joins the road that's leaving this intersection, again, you want to have a bit of a look because we've got one lane here, one lane here. They're merging into one lane. That lane there definitely needs to be two lanes. And again, you've got the three plus two equals five. So again, on the way out, we want to go five lane first. Then we want to help it narrow down to four lanes. And then it will narrow down to three lanes. And then using this section of the intersection here, because there's no cars on it, so we can see what we're doing. You can then use, if you wish, the lane connectors. So this junction here, cars coming down, will switch over from this lane to this lane in this middle section. If this was super busy and you wanted to keep it going, select that node, control S, they will stick to their lane. And then certainly in this one here, you can see that tractor went from down here to up there. If there's lots of traffic coming through here, you don't want them all getting each other's way. So now you can use the amazing lane connector for these junctions. Control S. Everybody's got their own lane. 
then they will merge a bit, then they will merge a bit more, then they're down to three lanes. That is also something we can do on the lanes going out, and I think I'm going to do that through here, just so we can make sure that that is all working okay. We can see here, look, there they're getting in each other's way. So control S, they've got their own lane. Here they're all getting in each other's way. Control S, they've all got their own lane. Still going to be a lot of merging problems down here because the traffic is backing up from over there, but we will get to that. So these principles that I'm sort of telling you now, these can be used in various places throughout your city. Um, but yes, so there we go. That is a start on that junction. What I will probably do now as well is just go around and check your other junctions like this. It looks like, like I said, you've done the lane mathematics. Three, one comes off down to two, one comes on back to three lanes, one goes off down to two, one comes on back to three. But again, where they're exiting, we want to just make sure we do control S like that. They all get their own lanes to come out. Um, that is also the case here. So we're going to do it on that one as well. There should be a node in the middle there they can switch. So that one's fine. And we want that on all roads, all connections, everywhere the cards are joining. Here we go. Like this. Cards are joining other cards. Control S. Control S. And in both directions as well. So I'm going to go through the junctions that you have in your city. These are intersections, I should say. Uh, that's coming off, that one's joining, that one's joining. There we go, that should be all of them. And I'm just going to set that up. So we've got this one here, that one we've changed, that one there, that one there, this one here. Yeah, there's only three or four. So I'm going to do that, and then we will see how things are going. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm also going to do some lane mathematics on these junctions that you've got here. So the main reason that we do it, I don't think I've mentioned, is you notice the lanes here, straight on, straight on, straight on and right. And this is just in the game, just to help the game AI, the way the cars like to work. So these cars are all coming off. Some of those are going to go straight on. They're all going to prove me wrong. No, they're all going off anyway. But we're going to downgrade that to two. And now we've got two for straight on, one for off. And it just helps things run a bit smoother. You have to sort of not have in your head the thought that you need more roads because there's more traffic. That's not how it works. You want to keep things moving smoothly. And if you can keep things moving, then things will work much better. Uh, down here as well. Now, this is a little bit of an issue. We've got them coming in. They're getting in each other's way. And if some of these cars want to go straight on down here, they're being blocked by the cars that are coming off. So we're going to tell them not to switch lanes there. Um, but I've, they've only got one, na uh, <laughs> one, nade, one node where they can change lanes, which is here. Because this junction, I'll be honest, is too close to that one. But I can see why you've done it. You've got all your, your nice straight rows and things. But what we could do is use the Move It mod to get that node. We could just shiftify that back a tiny touch. Then we're going to use this mod, Electric Roads mod, to add a node. Oh, I don't have it. Darn it. Okay, we'll do it a different way then. We'll grab another road like this. I've got a different mod pack I use when I'm doing traffic fixing than when I'm doing t -ville. There we go. Now we've got two nodes. So they've got two chances to change lanes, so they don't hopefully all do it in the same one. Depending on whether this still stays a sticky situation here, you could say we're going to have this node for going up like that. Uh, straight on. And we'll have this node for going down like that. And sometimes that just helps. I have the going up one first to move cars out of the way, and then, yeah, they can change lanes and then get to where they want to go but normally i would suggest moving all of this further back but you know you've got it there so we'll leave it there okay so we've got this junction here which is an interesting one it's like a well it is a diverging diamond with the roads up and below what you shouldn't have is people doing this uh, coming around the corner getting in each other's way it slows it all down so if we do that they can go straight on after these last couple of cars have uh, got out the way and that is the way that should work and that means that these roads here will keep moving which is good you could also do it there so they stay in the lane they're supposed to go it's not the best junction they've really got to slow down haven't they but anyway it's working people are moving that should be fine Good, so what are we at? 13%, we are getting somewhere. So how about we just have a look around at some of these different sections because, yeah, we've got a lot of red down here. We've got a lot of red in here. And we've got a lot of red up there. I didn't notice this junction here. What have we got going on? So all of this converges into this little section in the middle here, which to me seems a bit odd. 
because what's happening under here is these cars are trying to come in and he can't go anywhere because that's trying to go out. Yeah, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to remove this. Right, there we go. We are now going to put a roundabout in here. Let's first of all connect this road under here. I'm going to use net picker just so I can easily find that road. That's going to connect. That is going to connect to there, if I can say my word. And then what I'm going to do is just add a little road there and a little road there so we can build this again. So roundabout builder. Uh, let's just turn it on and off again so it works. We're going to use the three-lane highway road. We're going to use up a ton of space because it's nice and big. And that is going to go there. Excellent. And then what we're going to do before we start uh, messing around with this, we're going to brace this roundabout. So from node to node to node to node. So now we can add roads onto here and it's not going to mess up the shape. And then we're going to get our slip lanes. And that is going to come up. Let's give that a nice big runoff. Then we'll delete the roads in the middle. We'll delete these little extra rows there. So now we've got everybody connected. Now we want to set this roundabout up. So we're going to use this section here. We're going to do control, shift, and click. And that's going to give you all the giveaway signs coming on, which is what you want. It's going to give you dedicated turning off lanes, which is also what you want. And then the roundabout mod, when you use that, you've got set up TMPE. So it will automatically set up your enter the block junction and all that sort of thing. It didn't set these up because I didn't have these connected rows, did I? I've just done those. But basically, when you're going around the roundabout, you want this one on, that one off. Uh, this one's probably okay because that road was connected. That is fine. This one will need to go off. And the reason I do that is just to stop busy cars coming in, blocking up the roundabout and it not working. And then the last thing we want to do is a bit of uh, lane mathematics. So we've got three lanes coming down. One lane goes off. So this is going to go down to two, which, as we said, will give us our dedicated turning lane. Watch that arrow there. Bish. Bish bash and a bit of bosh. There we go. So that's going to do that. And then we are going to give these guys... There we go. Control S. So now they can merge nicely. And the other end as well. Control S. So now we just keep an eye on this. Anybody going straight through gets the option of going straight through without getting in the way of those that are coming down. It's a nice big size. So there's plenty of room between the junctions for on and for off. And hopefully that is going to work well. We could even expand this bit of road here. I mean, you've got sort of dedicated cycle lanes and stuff. But coming on to a roundabout that's got three lanes, you may as well add a three lane road so if there is a three and a two i'm just going to change that so now we've got three lanes coming up two lanes coming down which is good and i'll just make sure that that's still got the giveaway sign i think it will so that should go a lot better certainly this traffic down here uh, we're going to help them out a bit and say don't change lanes there or there just to give them some space. I've got plenty of other places to change lanes, which is good. And these ones coming up here, they're going to be backing up a bit until this clears up, which is getting there. So that should start working a lot better. The way the top section's working, that is the way the bottom section will work soon as well. Okay, so just below this uh, junction here that we've just done some work on, we have this main road, easy to see in this view. This main road that comes through here, getting pretty, pretty chock a block with traffic. Um, this is all sort of backing up down here. Um, I don't think there's like dedicated turning lanes or anything like that. We've got traffic lights. Yeah, look. So we want to fix that. Now, what we can do, uh, if we select this option down here and use control shift click. So before I would do control click and it would make all the roads coming in have give way signs. So top and bottom, keep this thing moving. But it would mess up the junction at the end here where it comes onto the roundabout, so I'd have to fix that again. If you notice there, it says Control Shift Click Quick Setup High Priority Road Stroke Roundabout. So let's just zoom out and we can see how far it's going. That's going to go all the way down to the end there. Control Shift Click. There we go. Now we can see, look, giveaway signs. This one's still working. It's clever enough to know there's a roundabout at the end. Thank you very much uh, to Kian Zarian, who's been giving me some tips. Uh, one of the developers, I believe, of uh, Traffic Manager. And yeah, it's been very helpful. So now we've got giveaway signs for everybody coming on. And we have the go straight through on these two roads. So it makes this a main priority road going through. Oh, I've just realized what it's done. It's stopping any cars from crossing over the traffic. So all of these lanes, they can get to the road that... Uh, any off roads that are on their, their side of the road, but like this one here can't cross over, which is good. So it's going to keep this main road going. Look at that. And already that is not 
backing up over here, which is fantastic. That is what we want. This is going to take a bit longer. Uh, let's come to this section over here. So what have we got? Lots. Look, we can see all of this. One big, massive grid. It is just all over the place. I would like to make this road through the middle here a main road so people can just keep on going. So I'm going to do that on here. Okay, so let's try that a little bit differently then. We're going to have this one here and we're going to do shift click instead. There we go, along there. And that is now adding in. There we go. Give way signs on the one above and below. I guess with a control shift click, it's trying to work in some high priority road AI, uh, like we saw working up on this other junction with the roundabouts. And because all these roads are all exactly the same size, it's just getting a little bit confused. So, yes. Um, and then what I would do is over here, I would lose some of these buildings definitely to have a roundabout in here because all the traffic is coming in and out of this section. Let's see that sort of size. Let's give that a go. And then we're going to get rid of all of those buildings. Make sure there's none actually right on the roundabout. No, we're fine. Excellent. So that's just going to keep all of that moving coming in and out. And then it also seems a shame not to use this. Uh, you've got all the junction here, but we've got this road here that isn't being used at all could we connect that up somewhere else to really help there we go so we've now got this end of this area can now be used to get up here i mean you could build that road uh, build the land up and put the road on that if you wanted to and if we actually got this connected correctly i think that would work very well for spreading out the traffic 16 percent it's growing ever so slowly so there we go. Okay, and in this area over here, I notice you've got another one of these junctions. I'm just going to have to replace that as we did before with a roundabout underneath to help people get in and out of this area much better. So this is before and this is after. Fully set up with the traffic manager, giveaway signs, priority, enter the block junction, all that sort of goodness and some lane mathematics as well. So as time goes on, that will stop all of this sort of malarkey happening back here. Let's stop them switching lanes a couple of times back. We've still got plenty of nodes to switch lanes after this junction. Oh, while we're just waiting for that to clear up, I've just noticed here we've got this junction really close here. So what I would like to do is make this a priority road going through there just to help that. There we go. So we're going to grab this here. We're going to do control shift click on this road. And we can see it's going from here all the way down to here. There we go. Let's grab that. I also would like to increase the size of this little tiny road. We've got one lane in and one lane out, which is utterly ridiculous for around about this size. Let's grab this one here. And now we're going to have dedicated turning lanes for each direction. There we go. Left, right and straight on. And that should all be. You need to give way. You need to give way. Let these people go through. Go through. Go through. Excellent. Um, also, I'm thinking... No, we'll leave that one as it is. That's fine. So that should... There we go. Look, we can already see people coming in here can just keep going, which as time goes by, that means these will stop blocking up over here as well. Um, and that will also help keep all of this moving here if we've got this as a main road. I'm just wondering whether... Let's have a look. Yeah, there's plenty of connections here. So, yeah, I think that'll be fine over time. Just looking around and finding another couple of issues about the place like this. Um, you've got this roundabout set up. We are just going to adjust this slightly. It's obviously a very busy one. We're going to go for three lane roads on here. Just to give everybody a bit of extra room, which means these roads coming on and off, they can stay as three lane highway roads as well. So we're going to do that. There we go. So everybody can get on, start moving. And then we're going to set that up. So control shift click with the roundabout. All the giveaways, which is great. And then just check, turn that one off. And that one should be fine. That one should be fine. There we go. So we've got lots more maneuvering space. We're going to stop lane switching there and there just to get this. Oh, look at all these. Oh, my goodness. All the rubbish trucks. All the rubbish trucks for the whole flipping place. That is nuts. They're all coming out of down here, are they? Waste transfer facilities. Yes, they are. You've got them all coming out of the same place. Fantastic. Oh, and again, you've got two lanes hitting into three lanes. This just ain't going to work. So how about this? We're going to change this one down here to a single lane going in. Single lane coming out. 
and then we can put that down to two and we've got our lane mathematics three minus one down to two and then it's one plus two back to three and then do you remember what we do get the lane connectors so when they're coming on control shift and now they can have their own lane we'll say stop lane switch in there you can lane switch as you get further along and as this gets moving it will help everything wow so many buses right okay we're looking at your your transit let's see what's going on with your public transportation so let's sort by vehicles 61 vehicles this is something you, i'm going to show you what i do once and then i'm going to go through and have to do it everywhere look oh my goodness empty bus empty bus empty bus empty bus empty bus empty bus so many empty buses 61 vehicles on this line <laughs> what let's have a look at your uh your budget have you got your bus budget up no it's on not normal okay so that is just that is just absolutely nuts uh, the game will automatically give you a certain amount of buses on your lines depending on the length of them not depending on how many people you've got waiting and look you can see there's hardly anybody waiting two buses come along that stops empty uh, i'm not going to put it down to two let's put it down to ten <laughs> that would be plenty and like this one here, 23 buses. Look, there's hardly anybody waiting. All the buses are empty. Oh, that is just mad. That is just mad. Let's put that down to five. I'm going to go through all your lines and do that. Okay, that's done. Let's check out your metro lines. You've got lots of passengers using your metro lines. That is absolutely brilliant. So here as well, you want to make sure you haven't got lines where there's so many people waiting. They're not getting picked up. So I would definitely say I am going to up that to eight. And hopefully we can get through that backlog. Uh, this one here, again, we've got absolutely tons waiting over here. 2,000! Whoa, mama, where's that? That is in the middle of this area over here. Wow, so many people. But if we start getting rid of the backlog, I'm going to double the amount on that line there. Again, you want to keep an eye on what's going on. You don't want to have so many uh, metros that it blocks up your line. See that one? Hardly anybody on that line at all. So we don't need five. We can drop that down to two tram 26 vehicles that is going to be causing so much traffic let's drop that down to 10 definitely okay so you get the idea quick update on the traffic 32 percent things are beginning to move a little bit we're still getting a lot of hawky borky trafficness going on but i think it's one of those things i'm gonna have to just run this for a while something else worth keeping in mind is when you have a cargo train station just going straight into your roads like this all these four roads around here were these two lane roads but i put these six lane one six lane one way rows they go around in a nice big circle like that there we go a square about if you will and then control shift click with that to add your priority sign so it acts as a roundabout everybody coming on has to give way and then when the rest of this traffic goes down it just means that everybody there coming in and out of your cargo train terminal can keep moving what have we got going on over here do we have some dedicated lane action no, we don't. We have this lane doing two things. Let's control click there with these lane arrows. And now we've got lane for turning left and a lane for going straight on. Hopefully keep all of this moving a little bit more. There we go. And now you can notice down here that the traffic coming in and out of the cargo train terminal isn't really blocking each other anymore, which is great.
Well, it took a while. I had to leave my game running for a long time for that all to unclog, for people to work out where they wanted to go, the new routes we had for the buses and the metros to settle down. But we eventually got it to where we were about 80, 82 percent, which I think is an absolute win for a city that was this bad. From 3 percent to 82 percent is absolutely fantastic. So if you want me to fix your city, there is a link in the description below where you can uh, send in your submissions. If you enjoyed, please leave a like as well. I thank you for that. And subscribe as well if you'd like to see more. And I will see you very soon for the next City Skylines video. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.